Hola familia, I am coming to you today with day number six. I should have done these in Spanish. Day six of 12 days of Alex Mas. So what do we have today? Let me see. Today is six geese laying. Can you eat geese um, eggs? I don't know. Can somebody tell me that? I know you can eat chicken, le <laughs> chicken legs. <laughs> chicken eggs. Can you eat geese's? No. Because they're, ch I don't know. I don't know. Somebody tell me because I've never actually had a goose egg if you can have a goose egg. But that's a lot of eggs to have around if you have six geese laying around and Leo would probably stumble over them. All right, you guys, so today we have day six of 12 days of Alexmas. And today I had to think about this long and hard. What is it that I can share with you guys today? Well, we're gonna do some egg hunting, if that makes any sense. I tried to incorporate the number six and geese that are laying. So what did I decide to do? I wanna share with you guys my top six most accomplished pans that I hit this year. Yes, my special golden eggs of the year. These are six products that I didn't think I could ever hit pan on or didn't realistically think of ever hitting pan and I did. So I wanna share with you guys the six products that I have for you today. If that is something that interests you, stay tuned, my birds, if you're new to my channel, Eliana de Familia. My name is Alejandra, I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with an Ash Project Pan. If that is something that interests you, subscribe, join us. And now let's get on with day number six. you guys these six pans that I hit this year were actually pans that I hit this year some of these I did not expect to hit pan some of them I was hoping to hit pan but it took a lot of work and that's why they are one of my most accomplished pans that I hit this year some were super easy and some I was like geez am I ever gonna hit pan on this sucker so with no particular order, let's just get started first and foremost is my Maybelline color tattoo in nude pink the reason why I am shocked at how much pan I have in this one is because realistically I went through all of my color pop color pop I went through all of my color tattoos this year I got rid of about 80 percent if probably more than that of my color tattoos, ones that I was never gonna use, ones that were super dried out, and I only kept the one, the core ones that I knew I would want and use and love. And these are ones that I do love, and it's so pretty. I really, really like this one. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. The reason why I'm shocked is because I didn't expect to hit pan as quickly as I did. I guess I just love these and I forget, because I always take breaks from them and then go back to pick another one. I really like my color tattoos. I'm happy that they have their core and they're not releasing ones over and over and over because I do like a shadow stick more than a pot form, but the formula of these is just so good, I really like them. So this was a, a shocker to me, especially now how much pan I have, I'm like, holy crap, like I'm almost done with this. And that's an accomplishment because we all know color tattoos, nobody ever really finished them unless you really stuck to them because these were difficult to pan. Pan number two that I have is from this quad. This is a quad that I have loved for many, many years, and I wanted it to uh, look loved, and when I threw this in a project pan, I did not, did not expect to work as hard as I did to hit pan on this. This is my soundtrack quad from Bare Minerals. It's no longer in existence, and I have pan on this shadow right there. Yes, it is a brow bone shade, but who cares? I hit pan on it, give me credit. If you ever panned a Bare Mineral Shadow, they look small, right? Oh, but they are deep. They are deep and they make you go down deep in there to hit that shiny pan, my goodness. It's like kind of like a therapist where they make you sink down into your deepest thoughts and, and feelings. Yeah, that's how these shadows are, my goodness. I literally, it took me over two months to hit pan on this. And normally when it comes to these kind of shadows, they're very easy to hit pan on. No, she made me work hard for it. And I'm very proud of this pan. Now I know if I ever roll in a shadow from a Bare Minerals quad, palette, whatever, these are hard to hit pan on. I can only imagine finishing one up. So if you've ever done that, kudos to you. Next one I wanna share is a bronzer. And this one was a bronzer where when I had it already in my collection at the beginning of this year, I thought, oh, I'll hit pan any day. I'm good at panning some bronzers. Don't worry, I got you. I know what I'm doing. I kept seeing the rings and I kept seeing the rings and it took forever forever to hit pan on this. This is my old Urban Decay 
beached bronze bronzer in bronzed. And look how thin this thing is, right? Yeah, this took forever to hit pan on. And once I did though, it's a decent sized pan. Now, as you guys can see, I only have the outer ring left. I plan on finishing this up this coming summer, hopefully, because it is a summer bronzer for me. But holy crap, I kept seeing these rings for months with nothing happening to this. It's a really nice bronzer though. I, I, I did like it and I do like it. But uh, yeah, this bronzer made me work too. Up next is a single, a single from L'Oreal. If you ever own one of these, you know you can't depot them because I tried to depot one and mm, I kind of ruined it, but that's all right. This is a L'Oreal Color Rouge Singles in Quartz Fume. I, look how deep this shadow is. And you see that pan all the way at the bottom? It's like a waffle pan. How I did this was using this as an eyeliner. So this is a, a different texture than a normal shadow. It's like a creamy, cream to powder kind of formula. So it just took a little bit longer and I had to really like, like uh, cover my brush and that's how I was able to hit pan. And I didn't expect to hit pan at all. This, if I were to just use it as an outer V, this would have taken me centuries centuries to hit pan. It would have dried up by the time I hit pan. This is truly one of my most accomplished single shadow pans. Wow. It, and this has a lot of product and it has 3.5 grams of product. That's huge for a single shadow. That's the size of like a, I believe a JD glow shadow or uh give me glow. I think is another one that has that much in a product. These are a lot. Kat Von D. That's a lot of product. The next one comes from a palette. And the reason why this was an accomplishment is because I wanted to hit pan on this palette for over two years, never had the opportunity until this year. And then when I hit pan, I realized how deep these shadows are. This is from my Beach Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. And if you have a lot of pan in this palette, wow, good for you. Cause this took a while. I hit pan on this shade right over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a white on white. It's so difficult to hit, like show the pan on these like this. But this, I'm so proud of, I'm so happy. It finally got into a project pan. It finally got pan in there somewhere. I'm very, very happy with this. Now I can say that I actually love this palette, even though I keep saying I do love it. I wanna hit more pan in there. I already have an idea of which one I wanna hit pan on next, but this is gonna be one where I gotta sit there and use for a while to hit pan because it was tough. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was tough. And the last one comes from my Too Faced Love Flush palette. This was um, one that I rolled into a graveyard project pan. Wanting to hit pan, didn't expect to hit pan until the day I went to go do my makeup to film that update, I hit pan and I hit a good size pan. That is on the shade Love Hangover. You can see that pan right there. It's so nice to see pan on this one. This one was about as much as this one. Now this one's the one that has the most product in it, but I will say that these are getting older, so it's a little bit easier to pan, but these are still hard. Blush is still a hard thing to pan and to use up completely, holy crap. You could tell, look, I used this palette for over a year and only used up one uh, blush, and that's because of the fact that this one was differently formulated. So for me to hit actual pan on one of these, that's an accomplishment. Big time accomplishment. If you ever pan a blush, you know how hard it is to pan blushes. So there you guys have it. Those are my six products that I hit pan on this year that were my biggest accomplishments. I'm very proud of myself for these. I am so excited that these have pan and now they look more used and abused in my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the videos on the screen. Until next time or the next day, I'll see you then. Adios.